making work my new favorite. <laughs> I love to work. I always did. Never been afraid of hard work, and neither should you. Get up early in the morning. Step one, make yourself a list of what you want to accomplish throughout the day, and just start chipping away at that list. Even if there's things on yesterday's list that you didn't get accomplished, by all means, move it over to today. Put a star beside it. And one thing you have to decide is what the difference between urgent and important. There are some urgent things that have to be done. If you've got an animal that's sick and you've, that's urgent, you've got to deal with it. But an important thing would be to fill a lumber order that's not due till next week, but it's important for me to get done so I don't have to worry about getting it done the next day. So important and urgent are two different things, and you need to figure that out when you're working today. Especially today. It seems like uh, everybody has got an urge, a sense of urgency of things that really aren't all that, isn't all that urgent. So Another bonus productivity tip for you all is to take the Facebook or Twitter or uh, Instagram, take that app off your phone. <clears throat> Still be able to access it when you need it. I use it to promote my business. Um, so it is important. I understand it's important. But I know for sure that every single person that's watching this video has been sucked into that trap of, I'm going to sit down for three minutes and just look at my news feed, and then a half an hour has gone by, 45 minutes has gone by, and now you don't have time to do what you wanted to do or what you have to do or what the urgent thing that you were uh, intending to accomplish today. So make sure that uh, you make it uh, an effort to use those social media platforms and use them against themselves if you can. I do the same kind of thing with my YouTube uh, business. I post my videos on um, YouTube and then I share a link on my Facebook page and that way people that want to see them can see them. So it's a double-edged sword for me. I depend on that for sure, but also in the same token, I don't want people to get uh, sucked into it that um, all of their time is just absorbed, if that makes any sense. So I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's just a simple productivity game that you can play easily. Just take those apps off your phone, make them hard to get so that you can still access them. You have to log in. You still have to enter your password. Sounds like a pain in the bum, but it definitely will... Uh, will discourage you from using it everywhere. And you know, it doesn't hurt us to wait every now and again. We've got um, lots of things that we can dwell on and think about and problem solve while we're waiting for our number to be called in the doctor's office or we're standing at register of motor vehicles or something like that. So instead of just surfing on our phone for mindless entertainment for that next dopamine hit, you can be working on your your list of things that need to be done and then prioritize them in a, you know one to ten what's what's urgent and what's important and sort that out and you'll feel a lot better you'll likely sleep a lot at night and i think studies have proven that if you take things and write them down on paper and i'm not saying just paper because papers and media you need to to use you can use the notes on your phone i do that as well but if you write it down you dismiss it from your brain and then your brain stops needing to revisit it at three o'clock in the morning and it seems to me that's the, the hour for me that I used to wake up and all of that parade used to go by in my head of all the little things, the nonsense things that would never keep you um, awake um, when you go to sleep. But for some reason, it's really important to your brain at three o'clock in the morning. So whether I'm troubleshooting a problem on a car when I was a diagnostician or whether I was you know, trying to fabricate something or whatever. But if I would write that down, put it on a piece of paper, and I know that it's been dealt with and my brain can sort of dismiss it. So anyway, those are my productivity tips for today. I don't always have productivity tips, but I've been uh, self-employed almost my entire life. I've had a, a couple of career gigs with dealerships as, uh, as technician. Um, and I enjoyed that as well. But I, uh, I had to figure out often the hard way <clears throat> how to make a business work. And I've learned a lot of lessons. And... I just want you to know that lessons that are caught stick a lot better than lessons that are taught. So anyway, I've got 44 more 2 by 4s to make this morning. So I'm going to grab a couple of logs and uh, start bolting those out. And you just saw me, I milled two logs at a time. Another productivity tip if you can, if you have a sawmill. And I'm going to make, uh, like I say, 50 all together for a little order. Guys, making a, a sheep enclosure not far from here and I'll deliver those after lunch and then I'm going to try to get a coat of paint on my trailer which I fixed yesterday and uh, get that back into service thanks for watching this video you fellas and I'll probably be posting another one later on this week it might even be a firewood week 
that'd be fun. Get back to my Range Road Eco Pro 300. I'm learning and trying to figure out how to make that better, faster, stronger all the time. Over and out, everybody. So there's 52 by fours on the back of a homemade truck. Yeah. My day is complete. It's uh, just about lunchtime and I milled out these 50 this morning. That will be a good day's pay. I'll deliver these when he gets home after work. But in the meantime, I'm going to put some paint on my forestry trailer.